All right, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at a couple of other really powerful features within the game engine, and that'll be with the logic bricks, and that'll be a couple sensors. One's going to be the ray sensor, and one is going to be the message sensor. So we'll start with the ray sensor first. So what I want the ray sensor to do is to shoot a ray. Say, we're going to use this purple object. I'm going to shoot a ray down this positive y-axis in this direction. And by doing so, I'm going to try and detect this object here. So when this object gets within a certain distance of that purple object, I'll, I'll be able to trigger an actuator. So the first thing I'm going to need is a ray sensor associated with this. And what I only have, think I have set up so far is I have the up and down and left and right arrow keys set up on this object. So if I start the game engine, I can move these directions like this. Okay? So I'll start over here, grab this purple object, go into the logic bricks, and I'll add a ray sensor to this object here. And so it's going to cast a ray down here by default. And you know that because if you look down here, it says right here for the ray, the plus Y axis is where it's shooting it. You can change the axis if you want to plus or minus X, Y, or Z. All right, so I'm going to change it, keep it a positive Y axis. And then this is the range, how far it's looking down before it detects anything. It's got a really small distance right here. so. I'm going to do it so it's a one, maybe when it gets to about two blender units away, or maybe three blender units away, so I can keep it aligned with this. Then it's going to detect something coming at down this y-axis. If it's not coming down that y-axis, it won't detect it. If it's coming from over here, it won't detect it. Okay? And so then what it does, I want to do something. And I'm going to do something to really emphasize the point of that y-axis. And I'm going to rotate this object say five degrees when this green object is within three blender units of it. So I'll connect these together and then I got one last thing I have to make sure I set pulse mode in here so it's constantly checking. Alright so I'm going to go full screen and I'll start it up and there you can see I'm moving down this axis. And there you go you can see I'm within five and so it's moving it like this, but now something's happening. You're thinking, oh no, wait a second. I'm still within, I mean, within three units. So it should be moving it, but it's having a little bit of problem because I'm rotating it out of the way. So if I go over here, now you can see it's still moving it. So I actually have to keep moving it because my positive Y axis, or the local positive Y axis, is really what it is, is changing, right? So if I come over here, it's not going to sense it from this side. It's wherever it happens, that happens to be pointed. So that's an important feature to keep an eye on. Is like that. All right. So that's the first thing. So if I was just to come straight at it and not rotate it. In fact, let's take that off for a second. Let's go back here and instead hit it. But I'll rotate it very, very small. Point one. Okay. Let's try that. There it is. It's rotating, but you can see it's almost constantly rotating because it's not rotating out of the way fast enough. So instead, let's try something else. In this, in this case, instead of rotating this, I'm not even going to worry about that. Let's rotate this blue object. In order to rotate the blue object, this blue object has to know when this is within range of this sensor. So what I'll do is I basically get a message sensor and a message actuator. So on this here, I'll actually need a message actuator on this. So I'm going to add a message actuator to this. So it's going to do something. And what it's going to do, it's going to send a message to the blue cube. All right. So in order to do that, I have to type in blue cube right there. All right. And w the subject it's going to sense is just whatever you, you know, want it to do. And I'm going to say, rotate. That'll be the message is to rotate. And so I'm going to send this message to the blue cube. So then I got to go over to the blue cube, but the blue cube I already had a message from previous. So here's so basically I'll get rid of that so you can see what it is. You add a sensor. In this case you add a message sensor over here, and the subject that it's looking for is rotate. All right? And then you connect it together and I have this set to rotate here 3 degrees. We'll change it to 5 degrees. So basically, just think of the logic of what's going on. It's just the ray is detecting when the green cube's close enough. When it gets close enough, all it's doing is sending a message to blue cube called rotate. Blue cube is sitting over here listening because it's sensing for a message. 
and it, when it hears the message rotate, it actually rotates itself five degrees. So since this isn't rotating out of the way anymore, it should just, as long as we're within proximity of this down the y-axis, this should continually rotate. So let's try it. All right, start it up, I'll move closer, and there it is. It's rotating until still within that, within a three, and then if I get past it, it stops. And there it is within it, and it stops. It's, it's a really powerful little feature. A little processor intensive, so we're gonna have to take care of that in some advanced tutorials so it doesn't constantly check, because otherwise you can, coming from this side, nope, it doesn't sense it. This side doesn't sense it, but only down this. It actually, there's, it's not quite aligned with that y-axis, but there it is there. All right, so pretty straightforward, and that gives you even more power in your game. So between these sensors, it's kind of a way of working like it's conditional control, kind of like the properties are that we had done in a previous lesson. So all right, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.